What's poppin' homies? It's your boyfriend, Nitty, back in the building in the sneaker office. But not too long, man. I'm gonna get you guys right out of here. Um, this is gonna be a pickup vlog. I went to multiple different locations in one single day. So I just started vlogging, man. So I gotta throw that in there right quick. Also, y'all may see this merch that I got on, man. Straight from SneakerCon Boston. This is uh, HMDD. Uh, Happy Memories Don't Die is their brand. Um, met the homies at SneakerCon. And I bought this sweater and it was crazy expensive, man. <laughs> crazy expensive. But I can get into all that later. But let's get this vlog started, man. I'll see y'all at the end. You know, when I wrap it up. All right, take care. I'm at the clearance. This is gonna be a quick breeze through. I was in the area. What's up, man? So I just wanna see what's, what's available. It's kind of packing here too, man. So I stopped in the clothing real quick. A lot of people be asking me to show clothing. I do if it makes sense, man. But anyway, since we're in here, I want to show you guys the shorts. Now, I am from Florida, so I could technically still get away rocking these. Did I say Frank or Fresh? Freshwear. Okay. I thought I said Frank for a sec. Um, they also got the black version as well. This is dope. Definitely seen rocking these with the cement threes, cement fours. You can get away with this with a lot of with a lot of Jordans, man. But it is shorts, though, man. We're technically in, uh, in winter. They're only going for $19 too. Yo, what's crazy is uh, these PGs has now hit $14, but they was $14, but it's, it's, it's clear as day now. $14, $14, $14, $14 for these PGs. I checked the R size, size 12, like, you know, average men's size. And um, yeah, they're still $50. Uh, but these green freaks did went up in price. Nope, $14 for the green tag, $49 for that big tag, but that's what they were on with the $14 right there. And they also got, um, these big joints, these are 19. They still got the PGs as well. All right, not the PGs, but but I gotta get out of here, man. $19 for these joints, man, size 17. So on and so forth, man. If y'all wear big shoes and y'all want some basketball shoes, man, come up here, pull up. Whole bunch of basketball shoes. Very affordable price, man. My homie benefit from this too, man. Paying $14 for a pair of shoes, man. You get some basketball shoes for $30, two pairs. Some signature ball shoes too. But anyways, man, let me get out of here, man. I got some good news, great news. Um tell you in a bit somebody corrected me earlier like yo frank that jersey you or hoodie you showing is not a oregon hoodie but this one is this is going for 60 dollars. it's short sleeve and is a hoodie this one is it's an oregon hoodie as well and this is going for 60 beans and there's another one in here um right right here right here oregon ducks man this one's a little bit cheaper it's like 30 dollars. It's, it's a small though it's a small but it's in for 30 dollars oh real quickly man somebody asked about this uh, jacket as well this magic jacket it's going for 60 dollars man i do read my comments i try to remember what you guys asked me to show and see and and, and try to remember as much prices as i can but yo as much hours as i do i can't remember everything but i do remember somebody asked about this specifically it's a 60 beans it's a magic almost like a tech fleece but not really but it's good quality though man 60 beans for that they also got the heat as well uh what's the price for this joint i'm here wasting time i need to be out of here oh here we go 60 beans for that as well this is 3XL, this is your size, bro. That's crazy. 60 beans. And more Magics. Oh yeah, they got this sweater here too as well. That's legit. That's legit, I gotta get out of here though. So, I gotta make it cross town because Men's Closet had a remodel of some kind. And they got a whole bunch of shoes wildly available. Even today's drop, first come, first serve. Um, the, board, the Bordeaux ones. I gotta go get a pair, y'all. You know I gotta go and get a pair. First come, first serve, and they still got pairs available. The homie hit me up, let me know. So I gotta run. What's crazy is, yo, they're just sitting here chilling, y'all. The Bordeaux ones, just sitting chilling, yo. And they got the, um, damn, what the hell are these calls? I forgot about these. They also got these uh, lows in here, too. It remind me of um, the sneakers and stuff ones, but it was a high, though, but the same colorway. And I recently just picked up these. Y'all already know. Yo, they got a whole bunch of J's up in here. They even got the um, Royalty uh, 12s. I doubt they got my size, though. And they got the Moonlights, man. So this whole section is crazy. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see these. These are crazy. They're $200. Now, definitely see these Miz, man. I'm gonna have to snag these. I think DJ Khaled got these in a special box for him and his kids. I'm gonna ask about these. This might be a cop. And they got the white, the white mids. And the Ossidian third. Yo, it's crazy, yo. This is crazy. Yo, look at all these J's, y'all. Look at all these J's. Yo, not only did they got those, man. The LeBron's in the building. 
They got these Toon Squad joints. They got the Sprite joints as well. And they got the Bo Jacksons, the, the Georgetown joints. I think that they had a complete restock. I'm not sure how long they've been closed, but they got a whole bunch of new kicks, man. It's been a minute since I've been over here too, so that could be it. Like for example, these Hirachis, man. Limited edition joints. These in the building, this is a size eight and a half. This is crazy. These are dope. Man, bro. <laughs> I already bought like two pairs of shoes, man. I still gotta buy a third when I leave here too as well. So I don't know if I wanna pick those up. We'll see. I'm all black Karachis, those are dope. They got the 90s and 95s, Vapor Max, Prestos. What else? Oh shoot, they caught me with these. I thought these was the, the sixes. I actually like this jacket, yo. <laughs> it's bandana style looking jacket. It's a guy walking around the store with it on right now. It's 200 beans for that though. That's crazy, I like it. That's right there. That's dope. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I show you, but they got the Starfish 5s as well. I'm not sure what sizes they have, but they have tons of Jordans. This is probably the most Jordans I have seen conjugated in one area in a long time, man. They even got the Miz green and gray joints. This is the most Jordans I've seen sitting in a long ass time. Huh? Look at all these Jordans. The fact that these are still on the shelves two hours after release, crazy. Yo, what a day, y'all. It's late in the evening. I just pull up to the mall, get my pair. I had all day to pick it up, man, but that's all the eventful uh, morning I was having, so. That's why I'm here late. But anyways, let's go inside and see what's popping. Grab these shoes and take it back to the crib. All right. We do got the Levi's one Miz in here. The baiting, man. That's gonna be a four sneakers in one day, y'all. I don't think I ever spent that much in one day on shoes just alone. Four pairs of shoes in one day? At retail? Crazy, crazy. And we're back in the sneaker office, man. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Let's get right into the mess. Uh, well, really wasn't no mess. Let me give you a quick context. So I was in the area, that's why I pulled up to the Nike clearance store. And I had a whole bunch of basketball shoes still on sale, like for $14 to $19. But you know, extended sizes. Extended beyond the average men's size, like 12, 13. They had like 15, 16, 17, and so on. But it's a great price. So if you hoop, you a baller, you need some basketball shoes, pull up, man. You're gonna save tons of money, I promise. Anyways, while I was in there, I got the phone call. Yo, pull up to men's closet. They got the Bordeaux ones available. First come, first serve. Well, I already won a pair at Shoe Palace. I'm like, why not? Let me just pull off off the strength, yo. Cause I can always pick up my Shoe Palace pair later. Which we about to get into here shortly. I'm just giving you guys a little recap of what happened. So I darted over to men's closet and lo and behold, they had a, a remodel or renovation. The whole place looked different, man. And they had tons of shoes wildly available. Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 1 Miss, Air Jordan 1 Lows, some basketball shoes, LeBrons, Hirachis, Air Maxes, they were still on shelf. The two pair of Air Jordan 1 High OGs I saw was, at the time I couldn't remember the name, but I believe it's called the uh, Prototypes. They had that in the building and then they had the uh, Bardos. So I pick up a Bardo in my size and then from there, came back to the crib and then later on, I went to Shoe Palace to pick up my actual pair that I won from Shoe Palace, which I got a call back, which hasn't happened since 2020. So that was a blessing. But anyways, man, enough talking. Let's get right into it, man. Show you guys what I picked up. I mean, you guys know what I picked up, but this is some other stuff. Men Closet. This is the first shoe I'm gonna show you guys. Please forgive, because I really don't know too much about this shoe. Peep the label. This is a Air Jordan 1 mid, size 12, my size. And the box is kind of cool, man. Um, they're going for a buck fifty. I just picked it up off the shrimp that it was just available. La da, here you go. The Air Jordan One Miz Familiar. This is different. The only time I seen this shoe was DJ Khaled unboxing, and I have no idea the premise of the shoe. I'm not sure what language that is. I assume it's Spanish. The swoosh completely different. Look like a spear. Air Jordan Wings logo, which is different for the wings. That's multicolored. The shoe is made up like a suede nubuck feel on the midfoot and also on the toe box. There is some spikes on the toe box as well. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, I should have did a little bit of research before I <laughs> did this. Uh, oh, what's cool is that a dog? Is that a pug? What is that right there, man? Come closer, y'all. What is what is that right there? That's different. Uh, yo, they actually did a lot on this shoe. You do have a red outsole, like red bottoms, but not really. <laughs> um, green laces. Look at the Air Jordan Jumpman and the name below that. What is pronounced? I don't even know. I'm about to really do some research. 
on this because I know nothing about this shoe. Anyways, let's take a look at the second shoe. I don't see any significant hits on this shoe that's different from another shoe. Let's see what the tongue shows. Uh, tongue shows uh, familiar on the tongue. So familiar Spanish, right? Or a lot familiar Spanish. I, I don't know. Let me shut up. Oh, what I didn't know, there's a little jewel. Can you come closer? This little jewel right by my finger right there. Uh, that's dope. Clearly, uh, after multiple wears, I can see that falling off, man. Is it on there securely? Um, same outsole, texture around the, the heel. But I like how they did that Air Jordan Wings logo too as well, and the swoosh, that's dope. On the medial side, the swoosh is just normal on both shoes. And here you have it, y'all. Oh, oh, one more thing about this shoe. It comes with three sets of laces. Y'all saw the green one on the shoe. And, and here's the other one, yellow and red. All right, so those are the Air Jordan 1 Miz that I copped, and it was going for a buck fifty. I did not know the price. I should have asked. Not really, because I would have still bought it. Those are different. And what I copped from in the closet, I had two pickups over there. Air Jordan 1 High OGs. Peep the label. Is that focusing? Focus, man. These are size 12, my size. And these obviously are the Air Jordan 1 High OG Bardos. Now, rumor has it, our YouTube content creator are saying that these shoes are readily available and they're sitting in a lot of locations in different states. Could be true because y'all saw that it was just readily available in my store at Men's Closet just sitting on shelf and I was able to pick up a pair. Now, I don't know how many pairs they have left as recorded, but to be fair, they were... One second, y'all. Yo. Why are you talking when I'm talking, yo? Where's your, where's the mute button? All right, so let's come over the shoe real quick, right? Um, obviously it was a buck 70. We know the price for Air Jordan 1's highs. Uh, the price went up $10 as of last year, 2000, end of 2020, I believe, beginning of 2021. It is a leather shoe. I love the side panels. I love that leather. So the quality is actually good. It's not bad. Obviously it's bar though, so it's like a wine color. White laces, silver swoosh, both on the medial and lateral side. Do got that Bordeaux color on the midfoot area, the back heel, and also on the outsole. So it is that technically white and Bordeaux. Um, that's pretty much it. You also got the Nike Air tongue tag and white and Bordeaux. The Wings logo is that jewel. I don't fancy that. I like the embossed looking Air Jordan Wings logo on the side heel. I like that. I don't like it when they do a tag. I don't like it when they do this gel like material. So let's keep it OG and let's, you know, signature it with a stamp or emboss it. That, that's my ideal. But the shoe is dope. I think it's a dope shoe, man. Oh, they do come with the Bordeaux laces already. Unfactory lace as all Jordan 1 tile G should come. Now, what laces do I put in this? What's my options? I guess white. <laughs> uh, I'll probably go with white. It'll make it stick out a little bit. Or even silver. Even silver, I will, I will go with. So that's one pair, and this is from Men's Closet. Lastly, I have one more pair. And this comes from Shoe Palace, as you guys know. As always, peep the label. Focus, man. These are size 12, my size. And there's another. Air Jordan 1 High OG Bardo. Let me bring you guys a little closer. Let's see. You guys like it this close? All right, there you go, man. So you guys are just seeing the shoe and not me. What you guys think about it, man? What you guys, what y'all thoughts, man? Did any of you guys pick this shoe up? If so, will you guys double up like I did? I probably have opportunity to triple up. Um, not sure if there's a need for it right now, but y'all obviously know how I do. I buy one, I stock one. Not sure when I throw these on feet because I have a whole bunch of other Air Jordan 1 high OGs, like 90 other pairs that will go ahead of these for it's rocking. Unless I find fit that I can throw these on with. And here you go, so it's the two. So there's no bait and switching going on over here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I do buy two Air Jordan 1s every chance I get. So I'm back to the old regimen, y'all. I'm gonna try to pick up as much of these as possible. You already know how I do. That said, man, that's pretty much it. And I mentioned earlier in the video, yo, about this, um, this HMDD. Happy Memories Don't Die, the brand. Uh, some cats that make this, this shirt, they're based out in LA, they have an Instagram. Uh, do follow them if you can, support their business. It's some young entrepreneurs. They make clothing, they make shorts. But when I saw the sweater with the puffy print, cause I, I actually had an idea for doing puffy print for some of my sweaters, man. I always try to find inspirations for my clothing brand from others. And these guys sat down and talked to me for a good minute, so I wanted to support them. 
I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid. You can go and research that yourself, but it was hefty. It was a pair of Air Jordan ones. I'll say that. But it was well worth it, man. Salute to them. Salute to y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's probably well lengthy at this point in time. I was just rambling, showing you everything. Uh, anyways, still got the SneakerCon vid where I talked to young ladies and got their perspective about SneakerCon and what they was on was on feet. And lastly, I posting this late because I went to a sneaker event here locally. What's the most you ever paid for a sneaker? I did an interview with them, man. So I probably post that whole entire interview as well. I probably give you a small clip if this video ain't too long. Hope this video is not 20 minutes in length, yo. That would be crazy. I don't think I ever did an outro this long. The outro could have been a video within itself. But anyways, I'm out of here, man. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, as always, keep leaving those comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Peace.